Today we are talking basics, ISO, aperture, shutter speed, what do they all mean and how do they relate and how do they change your image. If you understand ISO, aperture and shutter speed, so if you understand those three um, elements, then you'll become a better photographer because you'll always get your exposure right and you have to, in order to change all three, three at the same time, you have to change your camera to manual mode. If you look at this light meter here, the number one is one stop away from exposure good exposure. So if it's on plus side, you dial down one stop. If it's on the negative side, you add a stop. So that way, but every camera setting does one third of a stop. So all these little lines are one thirds of stops. F stop is, un is pretty easy to understand, if, but just think reverse because the F stop, the bigger the number, the smaller the hole, the less light comes in to your light sensor. The bigger the hole, so the lower the number means bigger hole, will get more light in to the light sensor. So, if you wanna have a bit, uh, better light with lower uh, shutter speed, you wanna get a lower number of f-stop. Let's talk shutter speed now. Shutter speed is, is if you, you know, if you didn't know, your camera actually has a shutter that opens when you tell it to, but the timer that you set it in, like for example, there is these numbers like one slash forward slash uh, 200, that means it's like, one two hundredth of a second that it's gonna be open. So it's just gonna go like that and you took the picture. So very fast, but you can change these um, speeds by all the way down to 30 seconds. That's what my camera can handle. Most cameras should be able to handle at least eight seconds. But if you are um, less than one sixtieth of a second, then you'll definitely need a tripod. Some people can hold it at one sixtieth of a second, but I know for myself, I can only hold a camera with um, one ninetieth of a second. I cannot go any lower. What is ISO? ISO is something that um, gets your light sensor sensitivity up or down. So that's literally what ISO means. It, so basically, if the higher ISO, it gets more light into it, while it's if it has lower ISO, it gets less light into the sensor. So how do you know which one to change first? So that's what I'm gonna tell you right now. Aperture changes the shell depth of field. So if you have a higher uh, shell, if you have a higher aperture, that means less shell depth of field. Number like six or seven aperture is usually where you go with uh, landscape photography. It's a super clear photo, but there's still these blurry uh, streaks over the photos to get this shell depth of field still. But for portraits, you usually get a very big aperture, so based of a very small number aperture, so your aperture is actually very big. Uh, that way it blurs out the background and the foreground and only the face is actually in focus. So that's what you do for portraits. So that's the stuff that changes with aperture. Now let's talk shutter speed. Shutter speed controls also some other stuff. But if you have a fast shutter speed, it freezes water falling down or stuff like that. Um, but if you have a slow shutter speed, it's gonna be like, you know, if you've seen these waterfalls that look very silky and all that. I might have a photo, if I do, I will pop it right there, but if you have a sh uh, slow shutter speed, then you will have these kind of photos, light streaks through your photo, whatever. I'll sh if I have another photo of light streaks, I'll show you those right there, but that's all done by slow shutter speeds. Fast shutter speeds are freeze motion, so anywhere above, I usually t uh, take 180 photos because you still have these um, smoother, then you still have these blurries, blurs, um, move blurs, but they're not, they're still very clear. The face and everything is still clear, but it'll look not that fake. It isn't fake. If you go like 250th of a second or anywhere higher, you'll usually get this very fake stop. So there's no movement in the picture then whatsoever. So I usually take 180th. It's still very easy to handheld. And yeah, you'll get this nice blurry around the face, but the face is clear. So that's what I like about doing with now let's talk ISO. ISO is something very tricky. You do not want to mess with ISO too high. For example, my camera, I know I can only bump it to 400 because it's an old camera. Newer cameras that you are about 500 to um, 800 dollars or something like that, you can bump them all the way to 12,000 without having really that big of a problem. Um, because if you ha have the higher ISO, you'll get grainy footage. 
and who likes to look at the grading footage? My camera can only go to 1600, so that it's a very low ISO camera. But so I know I can only take it up to 400 without getting any grain. It'll be less clear at 400 already, but it won't get grainy. So uh, usually you want to keep um, the ISO as low as possible. For example, like at 100 is usually where newer cameras can only go to. So keep it, try and keep it at 100. So basically this is how you change stuff first. If you want to have aperture priority mode, change your aperture to what you want. If you want it to shell depth of field, then change the aperture to a very low number. If you want um, not, if you want more clear stuff, change it to a higher f-stop, and then change the shutter speed according to it. If you can, if you want to have handheld, then change the shutter speed to like um, 125. And if you need more light, then then change the ISO a little bit higher. And yeah, I recommend if you do landscape, always take a tripod. Because um, on landscape photos, you kind of want as low as possible as ISO as possible. Like, don't keep it higher than 200 max. Because it'll be less clear if you go bump up the ISO higher and higher. So now that you know uh, everything about the exposure triangle, then please browse around the channel a little bit. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. And if you want uh, know anything about photography, anything, literally anything, just comment down below. And I'll try and make the next video happen for you guys.